Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way that we create. In this video, I'm going to show you seven mind-blowing tools that are going to change the way that you create. Welcome to the future. From 3D objects to slideshows, from logos to videos. First up, we have Runway. ML Gen 2 is a video tool that allows you to paint different styles over video clips. This allows you to create impressive special effects on zero budget. You can either type a prompt or use an image as a reference like this Space Cadet. The image style is overlaid onto the video, changing the aesthetic completely. It's fantastic for creating very aesthetic, different animation styles. And the mask mode allows you to select single objects in a scene and give them a unique look. What? It's currently available on a beta and you can apply for it. However, the original tool created by Runway ML is available to all. And this has a number of AI powered tools. You can simply remove video backgrounds by selecting an object in a scene and it will identify the different layers that exist in your video. You can also rearrange the composition of your scene by adjusting what content exists. For example, here you can paint out objects quickly. Beyond that, it has automatic subtitling and AI audio cleanup. And the great thing about Runway ML is you can access this right now. It's not in a beta stage. You can sign up and use these tools straight away. Also, Runway ML is in part funded by Stability.ai, which is the team behind Stable Diffusion. And what's great about this is there's a free tier. And then if you want to upgrade for the full feature set, you can do so for only $12 a month. What I love about this is the way that it's taking some of the latest content creation tools and incorporating them into one place. So you don't have to go between lots of different tools to use these new features. This is the future of content creation and I see us moving forwards towards almost one single platform for all of our content creation needs. As the line between video and audio and text becomes blurred, the multimedia experiences that we'll be able to create know no bounds. I mean, just look at this fantastic subway that has been changed into this beautifully almost stop motion style animation. I think the aesthetic is uh, stunning and you could quite simply create a very beautiful short film entirely with this animation style. What's also fantastic is you can take an image that you've created in an AI art generator like Midjourney or Leonardo and apply that aesthetic over your video. You can see here they've taken this fiery demon, applied it over this dancing gentleman. And I love this feature where you can simply arrange some blocks, some composition with objects and apply a new style over it. You can see they've applied this cityscape over these books. So now you've got some video, you might want to add some audio. And for that, I have found SoundDraw.io, which is an AI music generator. And what I love about this is that you can quickly generate unique, compelling tracks in a matter of seconds. Let me show you how it works. Simply come to create music and you get to set the length, choose the tempo, and adjust the mood, everything from angry to dark or dreamy or elegant. You can also start off with the genre. I might try lo-fi hip hop. And you sit back for a few seconds and in no time at all, it generates you an entire musical composition, which is perfect for using in backgrounds for your YouTube videos, in your short films, in your podcasts, or even in your marketing. Once it's loaded, you'll get music. And what you can do is you can adjust the thematics of this by going to the top bar and changing the tempo and the instruments and also the theme. I would like some more lo-fi hip hop, take out techno and trance and see how this changes the sound. And if you want to dive in for greater control, you can turn on pro mode, which allows you to adjust the tempo, the length, the beats per minute, 
and the exact instrumental compositions of your piece. You can create as many songs as you like for free, but if you like to use these commercially, you can subscribe for $17 a month. The next tool I want to show you is Revoicer.ai, which is the most realistic text to AI voice generator. And to prove exactly how good this is, have a listen to this. I'm Axel, and I want to share with you my story. At first, people made fun of me because I was different. And they were right, I was. I couldn't show real emotions because I'd never experienced them. Pretty impressive, I would say. And what I really like about Revoicer is that it has an inbuilt emotion algorithm that detects the tonality within a piece. And with this, it applies different emotional intonations. So you have a variety of voices, each with their own emotional repertoire. For example, we have Emily here, who can be both friendly. 2002 was a very good year. I just finished high school. And angry. 2002, do you remember what you said to me? Try to remember. As well as sad. 2002, that's when I lost everything. Excited. In 2002, I won the lottery. The best year of my life. Not bad, not bad. Not you. They also have a huge library of different voices or a lot of different situations. So whether you're a teacher, a podcaster, a marketer, or an author looking to get their book turned into an audiobook, there is a voice for you. Let's take a listen to a couple of these. This is a teaching voice. Lesson 12, The Battle of Waterloo. On the 13th of March, lesson 12. Yes, yeah, a very authoritative, informative, yet friendly and approachable. Whereas the marketers... Uh, Meet Bob. He has a problem. Bob needs a voiceover, but he doesn't want to record himself. So it's more enthusiastic, light-hearted and approachable. This is the voice for an audiobook. Sapiens. A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari about 14 billion years ago. Which is a calmer, lower voice with a more baritone feel. Now listen to this customer support voice. Hello, you called Revoicer support. For English, press one. For Spanish, press two. For Portuguese, press three. You selected English. If you have questions regarding your invoice, press one. So we have a slightly flirtatious, sensual, we have this uh, rather calm and reassuring female voice. And you can see that these different voices really fit very well for different circumstances. And unless you're a professional voice over artist, this is going to be better than 95% of what people can do. There is no free trial with this tool, but for $27 a month, you can get 600,000 characters. So if you're working on a podcast and you've just created the voiceover and the audio, you might want to put that into Podcastle, which is a podcasting AI tool, which allows you to automatically remove noise as well as filler words. So it will identify if you're saying, uh, um, uh, uh, or, and it will quickly clean them up. Next up is Leonardo.ai, which is a AI art generator specifically for game asset design. However, it is usable a whole host of other situations. You might have been used to using the mid-journey or stable diffusion for your own image generation, but I think Leonardo is the strongest player on the market right now. That's because it has a user interface that is more approachable than the locally run stable diffusion, and it offers more features than mid-journey with the ability to train your own models. You can currently join the beta for free and get 250 images free every day. Next up is Kaderman 3D, which allows you to create 3D objects from an image. And as you can see from their example, all you have to do is upload an image and it will create a 3D model for you. So this is a great image to 3D tool. Come on, man. That's too easy. Kadem does not have a free starter plan, but you can try it out for just $6 where you get three generations. And if you want the premium trial, you get four generations and, and an unlimited poly count. It's not a cheap product if you want the full premium 
pricing. But if you're a 3D developer, this can save you a lot of time. I can also imagine taking jobs from gig platforms like Artwork and Fiverr and charging a real premium for these services. And beyond image to 3D are also platforms starting to create text to 3D models. Nvidia has released this paper, but at the moment it's only a proof of concept and there is no available platform to use it in. But what it reveals is pretty amazing. For example, here are the text prompt was an ice cream sundae and you've got a really impressive ice cream sundae. Here we have a peacock on a surfboard. And that looks pretty good as well. Google also have a similar technology being demonstrated in another white paper. And you can see here, you can take a photo of a squirrel, put him wearing a kimono, and even add him riding a motorcycle. So you can have a little play around with this tool yourself to see what is possible. And it's only gonna be a matter of time until we have available access to these tools as well. Next up is one of my favorites, which is Tome, which is an AI tool, which is going to replace PowerPoint presentations. You can simply enter in a prompt and it will generate not only the content, the images, but also the layout of an effective presentation. Here they put in CloudHop, a new flying bus that transports people. And it's immediately created the whole structure of the presentation the images, as well as some usable content. But let's have a go at this ourselves. Let's try. I've asked it to create a presentation for a time traveling fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the time, the benefits of time traveling fridge. Features of the time traveling fridge. And you can see here in just two cracks of a whip, you've got a presentation fleshed out. What's particularly good about a model like this is that it's so much easier to have a first draft iterate on. And once you have this, you can really start to make easy decisions on how to improve your storytelling. So now I've got some interesting images that it's created with Dali and put them straight into the presentation. It's given me an outline and it's even giving me a little bit of interest on some marketing copy, so it's added in a pitch deck for a special fridge. You can ask it to try again if you're not happy with what you've got and you can choose the art styles. We might try cyberpunk instead. What's great about this tool is you can easily bring in other assets yourself and use it as a complete presentation editor. The AI features of this are merely a collaborator who helps you create assets and different parts of your work. And you can see now that the images have been updated have more of a cyberpunk feel to them. So if you're wanting to quickly flesh out a concept or create a presentation for something that you have not prepared very well, this is a great starting point. You get something that looks professional in a matter of moments. Currently you get a number of credits for free and you can earn more credits by sharing the platform with others. These AI tools are gonna to speed up your workflow and take your work to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to watch this one next.